Hello everyone, my name is Robin Unruh and I am president of Hunters for BC. Hunters for BC has a very interesting project where we are monitoring a highway fence line to understand the impacts that high fences have on wildlife. So if you walk with me, we're going to walk through a wildlife gate to help us understand better what's happening on the other side of the fence. So if you look in front of us here, you'll see areas heavily used by wildlife along the fence line. Here's the remains of a deer that met its demise on the safe side of the fence. A little closer, you can see one of our monitoring cameras that are monitoring the wildlife gate and the wildlife fence and the wildlife that use the fence line. We'll walk out a little way south. We see more evidence of deer that have not fared well because of the high fence. And here, you'll also see the result of the fence line and a terrain trap, which resulted in the mortality of a mature mule deer. Uh, we have camera photos of this deer moments before it was killed. And if you follow me along the fence line, you'll see that this doesn't happen swiftly or easily. It covers a large area and is usually the result of a large struggle. So we come through here along the fence, heading south. More of the story. The deer struggling along the fence as it's pinned up against the fence by predators. In this case, it's coyotes. A little further along the fence, just more sign of hair and how the struggle covers a fairly large area. Climbing the hill here. And you'll see here more evidence of the struggle, predator and prey. We collect the data from every mortality we discover. An interesting statistic about high fence, which is put in place to protect motorists from wildlife collisions. It is estimated that the economic benefits of having a high fence along a highway 
can be up to half a million dollars per kilometer. And we've walked about 50 meters from the wildlife gate. We saw where a mule deer had been killed along the fence. Then I'm coming up to another location. Where a whitetail deer has been killed by coyotes again. And again, the predators have learned how to use the high fence to their advantage. We have some bones and a lot of hair. The contents of the stomach and some bones from other mortalities along the fence that have happened in years and months gone by. Again, more stomach contents. And also more bones and hair. Coyote feces from years of deer dying along the fence line. 